Poem 21 of 30 American Poems by Various Romance Modern by William Carlos Williams This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Reading by Matt Perard Romance Modern Tracks of rain and light linger in the spongy greens of a nature whose flickering mountain, bulging nearer, ebbing back into the sun, hollowing itself away to hold a lake, or brown stream rising and falling at the roadside, turning about, churning itself white, drawing green in over it, plunging glassy funnels fall, and the other world, the windshield, a blunt barrier. Talk to me. Shh. They would hear us, the backs of their heads facing us. The stream continues its motion of the hound running over rough ground. Trees vanish, reappear, vanish, detached dance of gnomes, as a talk dodging remarks glows and fades, the unseen power of words. And now that a few of the moves are clear, the first desire is to fling oneself out at the side into the other dance, to other music, Peer Gent, Rip Van Winkle, Diana. If I were young, I would try a new alignment, alight nimbly from the car. Goodbye. Childhood companions link two and two, criss-cross, four, three, two, one, back into self, tentacles withdrawn, feel about in warm self-flesh. Since childhood, since childhood, childhood is a toad in the garden, a happy toad. All toads are happy and belong in gardens. A load to Diana. Lean forward, punch the steersman behind the ear. Twirl the wheel, over the edge, screams, crash, the end. I sit above my head, a little removed, or a thin wash of rain on the roadway. I am never afraid when he is driving. Interposes new direction, rides us sidewise, unforeseen into the ditch. All threads cut, death, black, the end, the very end. I would sit separate, weighing a small red handful the dirt of these parts sliding mists sheeting the alders against the touch of fingers creeping to mine all stuff of the blind emotions but stirred the eye seizes for the first time the eye awake anything a dirt bank with green stars of scrawny weed flattened upon it under a weight of air for the first time or a yawning depth big. Swim around it, through it, all directions in fine, vitreous seawater stuff. God, how I love you! Or, as I say, a plunge into the ditch, the end. I sit examining my red handful, balancing this in and out. Ah! Love you? It's a fire in the blood, willy-nilly. It's the sun coming up in the morning. Ha! But it's the gray moon, too, already up in the morning. You are slow. Men are not friends where it concerns a woman. Fighters, playfellows, white round thighs, youth, sighs. It's the fillip of novelty. It's mountains. Elephants humping along against the sky, indifferent to light withdrawing its tattered shreds, worn out with embraces. It's the fillip of novelty. It's a fire in the blood. Oh, get a flannel shirt, white flannel or pongee. You look so well. I married you because I liked your nose. I wanted you. I wanted you in spite of all they'd say. Rain and light, mountain and rain, rain and river. Will you love me always? A car overturned and two crushed bodies under it. Always, always. And the white moon already up, white clean all the colors a good head backed by the eye awake backed by the emotions blind river and mountain light and rain or rain rock light trees divided rain light counter rocks trees or trees counter rain light rocks or myriads of other myriads of counter processions crossing and recrossing regaining the advantage buying here selling there you are sold cheap everywhere in town 
lingering, touching fingers, withdrawing, gathering forces into blares, hummocks, peaks and rivers, river meeting rock. I wish that you were lying there dead, and I sitting here beside you. It's the gray moon, over and over. It's the clay of these parts. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.